I knew you couldn't do it. Please. Just leave me alone. It's not over yet. The running of the bull? He doesn't know what to do with me. Or you. Or himself. The seduction of the metaphor. Art is also a blood sport. If you care about what you do. <laughs> Please. When I go to the ring, I root for the bull. Art is seduction, honey. He's worn down, bled for the crowd, taunted, seduced, and humiliated by the red cape. Then unmercifully put to death, even if he struggles to live. And we call the matador the hero. You said it yourself. You don't write role models, you write real people. Your life has been a struggle, my friend. You have given blood for your art. But you can win. I'm real. Do not be seduced by the red cape. What more do you need from life? What more do you want from me? If you want to live, this time, kill the matador. I don't think so. I like where I am. Incomplete? You always remember me this way. You think you can win like this? Sex, violence, always uttered in the same breath. What he can't get from his life, he gets from his art. He gets it from me. First, he has to face life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, stop! You son of a Stop it! 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 You once told me that working on a story plot was like therapy. Characters give you advice as they develop. Yeah. They won't leave me alone, are they? Life influences art, imitates life. Man, what are they telling you now? The old man didn't seem so old anymore. Tony watched his eyes searching for... What do you call this? Another one of your unfinished masterpieces. My stories are unfinished because my life is unfinished. You... Jeez, that makes no sense. What, if you finish one, you'll die? No, no, listen. The, the characters, they're like my mind. 
my conscience, arguing both sides of an issue. I just can't do this and not think about the moral issues. This? What this? You can't even say it. How are you going to debate it? A flash of red. When I was in Madrid, I asked this great matador, retired now, this old guy, what his secret was, how he kept him getting gored by the bull all those years. He said, I know where the horns are. I kept an eye on you. I knew where the horns were every minute. Hell, I made your job easy. My job. All I want to do is write. Well, it turns out you're better suited running errands for Dominic. Drug deliveries, money pickups, a little strong arm now and then. Not bad pay. Now this. Take care of an unsuccessful bid for head of the local family. Big payoff. If you don't do it, I'll just send someone else to take care of you later. He chose you to do it because you know me. Dominic and those guys. Cliches from a Godfather movie. I'm not worried about them. I know where the horns are. And you? It's like these stories you write. You never finish anything. You never will. Margo, I think I just thought of an ending for my story. No! no.